So welcome to video two of this little mode series, a series on modes. In the first video, we looked at relative modes, and those are just modes that share the same set of notes, but just have different starting points. Another way to think of relative modes are the modes that are derived from the same scale. So the modes, for example, derived from the key of A major, or the A major scale. In this video, we're gonna be looking at parallel modes, and we're gonna use parallel modes to help us define the modes more precisely. So it's helpful to contrast relative modes versus parallel modes. Now in the first video, we were looking at relative modes and we used the example of C major, but let's move to another uh, key, A major. And so what are the relative modes derived from the scale of A major? Well, I'm not gonna play all of them, but uh, we know that the first mode is gonna be A Ionian, then we have B Dorian, then we have C sharp Phrygian, then we have D um, Lydian, then we have E Mixolydian, then we have F sharp Aeolian, then we have G sharp Locrian. And so those are all the modes implied by A major, or all the modes derived from the A major scale. Now, a parallel mode is different. A parallel mode, you share the same tonic note, you share the same first note, the first scale degree is the same. And so here's A Ionian. Now here's A Aeolian. Okay, those are parallel modes because they don't share the same set of notes, but they do share the first note. They do share the tonic note. So parallel modes give us a good opportunity to be really precise about what the differences between the modes are. So let me give you an example. We're gonna move back to C major. So here's C Ionian or C major. Now here is C Aeolian or C natural minor. So what's the difference? All right, let's just kind of look at it intuitively. So with C major, we go like this. So we go up to the E, C, D, E. But in C Aeolian, C natural minor, we go like this. So we don't go up to E, we go to E flat. And so the third note in Aeolian is flat relative to the third note in Ionian. And so that's how we can actually define the modes, is we can define them against the major scale. So for example, uh, the major here, C major is one, two, three, but Aeolian is one, two, flat three. <laughs> Whoops. So we're going to define all the parallel modes of C major against C major or against C Ionian. So starting with C Ionian, that's just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, and then the second mode is Dorian. Well, this is C Dorian. Okay, so what's different there? So we have one, we have two, and but then we have a flat three. We have four, we have five, we have six, and then we have a flat seven. All right, so that's what Dorian is. Dorian is gonna be one, two, flat three, four, five, six, flat seven. Now the third mode is Phrygian. This is C Phrygian. So how does that compare against uh, C Ionian, C major? Well, we have one, then we have a flat two, then we have a flat three, then we have four and five, flat six, flat seven, and then it just goes up to one again. And so that's what Phrygian is. Phrygian is one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. Okay. And then the fourth mode is Lydian. Okay, so this is C Lydian. So what's different about that versus uh, Ionian? Oh, thanks. And, well, we have one, we have two, we have three, we have a sharp four, and then we have five, six, and seven. And so the only difference is that Lydian has a sharp four. So Lydian is one, two, three, sharp four, five, six, seven. And the next mode we're gonna look at is Mixolydian. And this is C Mixolydian. So what's the difference there? Well, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six, but Mixolydian has a flat seven, okay? So that's Mixolydian, one, two, three, four, five, flat seven. And then the next one is Aeolian. Okay, so this is C Aeolian. 
or C natural minor. So what's the difference? Well, we have one and two, then we have flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, and then we go back up to C, all right? So that's Aeolian, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. And again, these flats or sharps are just used to describe how these scales different differ from the major scale, from the Ionian mode. Okay, so that's Aeolian, one, two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. And then finally we have the Locrian mode, and this is C Locrian. And so how does that contrast? Well, we have one, then we have obviously, the, by the definition of parallel, and then we have flat two, flat three, four, we have flat five, which is the special note in Locrian, we have flat six and flat seven. So Locrian is one, flat two, flat three, four, flat five, flat six, flat seven. At this point in the video, you might have more than you think, because now you're able to derive all the relative modes of a given key, but you're also now able to derive all the parallel modes of a given key, given the uh, definitions we just uh, went through. We now have generalized definitions of all the modes and precise definitions. So let's look at a couple examples. If I told you, play the fourth mode from the key of G major, what would you do? Well, you know to go to the key of G major. And the fourth mode is going to start off the fourth scale degree. You also know that's the Lydian mode, because Lydian mode is the fourth mode. And so you know that the uh, fourth mode of from the key of G major is going to be C Lydian. Okay, so... Okay, so you're able to figure out any relative mode from any key now. Now, if I also said play G Phrygian, you'd be able to do that too, because you'd go to the G major scale, and then you would just change the necessary notes, because you have the generalized definition of Phrygian now, which is one flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven. So you just need to change those notes. So one, flat two, flat three, four, five, flat six, flat seven, and then start again. But this is something else you could do. I could say, well, what key is G Phrygian from? And since Phrygian is the third mode, we just need to count down three from G using the notes in G Phrygian. And so we go G, F, and then E flat. We land on E flat. So we know that G Phrygian belongs to the key of E flat major. They have the same notes. Those are relative modes, uh, E flat Ionian and G Phrygian. Now I'm gonna make a video for my Patreon subscribers taking this to the next level, which is looking at all the chords that are built from these different modes and how you can use them in a, in a um, compositional context, writing songs. Uh, more uh, centered toward like pop or dance uh, music. So uh, a much more simple application of how you can use these modes to write songs. But that's it. That's all I want to cover. I uh, hope this was all helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.